Hello and welcome back to our Batania series in Bannerlord, and we're going to be attacking this hideout here. Now, this is a little bit different from what we've done previously, because this is for a task, so it's very much required that we do well here. And you know me, I'm not yeah, not, not particularly good at uh, not dying, shall we say. Yes, not particularly good at that. Anyway, let's do this. Ah, oh, really? Okay, there we go. That was a little bit better. Uh, I don't know why I went into first person. I feel like whenever I go into first person, I always miss. But when I go into third, boom, look at that. Nice, accurate hit. Another accurate hit. It's kind of weird. I'm not entirely sure because every single time that I literally go into third person and, and use some kind of ranged weapon in Warband, I'm awful. I'm really, really bad in third person. Unless I'm on a mount. If I'm on a mount, then I should be all, all right, you know, to use horse archery and things like that. But in general, in Bannerlord, if you're, you know, I mean, for me specifically, I mean, look, look at how accurate I can be now. I can literally get headshot after headshot after headshot. And I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know why. It's kind of a bit of a weird situation. But anyway... We're going to have to deal with the bandit boss now. Now, the main reason why I'm doing this, of course, is because this is a task from one of the most powerful people in the village that provides you access to some of the noble units. Going to do a duel with this guy, actually. You're dead. There we go. That was actually remarkably easy. I wanted to go two-handed, but I just didn't have the time, to be honest. So, there you go. Nice victory for us. We actually gained a good amount of renown and influence for it, too, which I'm very, very surprised at. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I have Vlandian units in my army. I don't know how that happened. So, it might be that uh, I rescued some, or I took them by mistake. Not entirely sure, but there you go. We uh, gained some honor for um, completing this task, and we also increased our relation with some of the people from this village right here, which is exactly what we wanted to do. This guy in particular is the fellow that I was talking about, and he, as you can see, is very powerful. He has 345 power rating, and that should allow me, as you can see, to get to... Who is it? Nal. Nal. That's his name. Uh, yeah, so it allows me to get to tier 3 of his units. And it doesn't, unfortunately, look as though he is the right one. Because these guys are just as powerful. And they have access to the highborn youths and the heroes as well. So it would have been good to get a task from them instead. But, well, sometimes you just can't really choose, you know. You just can't really choose that kind of thing, so... We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But otherwise, I'm, I've basically just been running around trying to recruit as many units as I can possibly get my hands on. Because we have 197 army size. And I kind of need to start increasing that. Alright, so it's actually been a while since the uh, previous little section of the video. It's been uh, about... 15 minutes in real time and I have literally just been recruiting units fighting in bandit hideouts and trying to get a little better at using my two-handed and blocking with it because of course I uh, when I first started playing battle lord it was a bit of a uh, bit of a shock really a bit of a shock to the system about how how the blocking actually works because of course I'm not really not really super good at it, let's just say that. Not really super good at it. So I uh, did try to get um, that much better in the first series ever with Barney, but eh, it didn't really work out too well. You know, I was able to block a couple of things, but yeah, most of the time I was not uh, not not really able to. Oh, ooh, nice. Okay, that was that was a nice one. That was a nice one. I was a bit worried there for a second. Usually, the main problem for me with blocking with a two-handed is that. You have to go in the direction of the block. <laughs> yes, of course. You know, that's the uh, that's the nature of the whole beast that you have to tackle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, it sounds, you know, it sounds uh, easier than, uh, than it is, at least in my opinion. So otherwise, I have uh, just been doing that. I've just been running around, auto-resolving against a bunch of... Um, a bunch of uh, bandit parties because that gives us the greatest experience and we are also going to be 
leveling up these guys. I've been also attempting to recruit as many prisoners as I can. As you can see, these guys are forest bandits. They level up into uh, uh, Batanians. They level up into Batanian noble units, which is really great. And, ooh, there's another... Ah, uh, no, no. They're probably too too large. They're probably too large for me. Ooh, look at this. We have another hideout right here. This is pretty good. Yeah, anytime you can deal with a hideout, I'd highly recommend doing it if it is something that you need. For example, let's say you want to get Kuzate noble units. Well, what are you going to do to get those? Well, apart from obviously finding the villages that allow you to recruit those noble units and having to do tasks to increase your relation with the guys there. Yeah, apart from that, you can fight step bandits, take them prisoner, use your disciplinarian skill, then, once you have recruited them from being a prisoner, into turning them into uh, what you need them to be. And that's the that's the kind of thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. I was I was I was just thinking to myself, oh just wait a minute, wait a minute, forest bandit boss, you don't want to kill me just yet. Yeah, but there you go. Anyway, that is the kind of thing that I'd recommend doing if you want to get noble units. It does take quite some time to recruit them, like actually recruit them from, from being a prisoner of yours. So that is a little bit um a little bit slow, a little bit slow. So you're going to need to be quite patient about the whole thing. I've had these forest bandits for a very, very long time in my prisoner's hold. Ooh, we got we got some more right here. That is a massive, massive army of forest bandits. This is probably one of the largest I've seen so far. I have seen one with about 25, but I was unable to catch them before they were eliminated by a nearby, um, nearby Vlandian vassal, actually. So that, that didn't really work out too well. But as you can see here, these guys are just way too fast for us. So hopefully we'll be able to catch them at some point in the future. And then we can maybe take some of them prisoner. All right, perfect. Now, I did catch up to them just a few moments later. And uh, I've been gaining some pretty decent renown from this too. But look at this. Every single time you auto-resolve, I, I feel like it does have a significantly higher chance of giving you prisoners. I could just literally be imagining things, but it seems like that is indeed the case, at least for me at the moment. Otherwise, we are gaining massive amounts of experience from the auto-resolves as well, primarily because of Bannerlord Tweaks. Bannerlord Tweaks does give you slightly more experience for auto-resolving, and I think it should, you know, I think it should. Definitely makes sense, because if your units are going to be going in there by themselves, they should be rewarded with a little bit more experience. And you're, of course, taking a bit of a risk, too. You're basically making it so that, you know, your units are probably going to die, you know. Let's face it, they're probably going to die. Okay, let's have a look here. Pelasaur actually gained a level, which is uh, pretty pretty impressive for him. And I guess I might as well just continue giving him uh, one-handed weapon proficiency and we'll continue giving him vigor so that he can be an absolute beast in combat. That's exactly what we're wanting him to do. All right, so, yeah, uh, unfortunately, there are no factions currently at war against Batania. And that's the main problem I'm facing right now, because usually what I do in this kind of situation is after recruiting a bunch of units, which is what I've done so far. Um, well, I don't have a full army, of course. I, might, I mean, I can literally have 198, which is a, a significant amount. It's very difficult for me to even get to that point, but... The point is, it would be a good idea for me to try and get into like a, a village raid or maybe a small vassal battle or something like that. But obviously at the moment, because we're not at war against anyone, that's not possible. So maybe, uh, you know what, I'm going to look for a Batanian tournament because that's going to actually give me a little bit more practice with blocking with two-handed. All right, we're also getting some Highland fur boots here, which I gotta say is pretty good. This is a massive. Oh wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Okay, this is a massive, massive battle royale, pretty much situation. We have a huge free for all going on, and uh, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of being given a spear. Why, why do I have a spear? I have. What? No, no. Oh dear, this is problematic. Okay, come on, guys, help me out here. I don't know why I have been given a spear. Can I please pick up someone else's weapon? Yes. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Hello there. Boop boop. <laughs> uh, that was... Yeah. I needed that. Oh! Taken down. Come on, Pelasaur. You can do this. Nope. Never mind. Apparently, Pelasaur can't do it. Kill him. Come on, guys. 
Come on, Urios. Come on, Urios. You can do it. They killed each other. What? What happens in that case? Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. I, yeah, well, we, we got through anyway, so that's absolutely fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why Batania is giving me weird weapon combinations. This is uh, kind of strange, in my opinion. Oh, there we go. Kill one of them. I'm just going to try and kill the ones that are lightly armored first, because then we have less people attacking us. And that makes more sense than going after the guy with a lot of armor, because it's going to take a long time. Never mind. Apparently, he's, he's not going to take a long time to get murdered. Okay, well, that's perfectly fine with me. Yeah, so... Unfortunately, in these kinds of times where it's all peace, 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 I can't really do much uh, in the game with the exception of uh, just build up my army. And, uh, of course, we're up against Pelasaur. There we go. Oh, nice hit. Oh, no. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I'm a bit slow, aren't I? That's the, that's the main problem. I'm a bit slow with my blocks because that's usually the reason why I will get murdered when I'm using a two-handed. I will always be just like uh, a split second or maybe, you know, a few minutes too late with, the, with, with my block. So, yeah, I'm going to need to get a little bit uh, a little bit faster on that. Although, I think now that I've gotten a bit more used to the weight behind the, uh, the weapons, it actually makes a, a big difference to your timing when you go into the actual fight. Because while you're in a fight... Of course, you know, you're going to be fighting against each other. But because we have so much athletics, I can pretty much choose when I engage the opponent. And as a result, I should have a much easier time of keeping my distance in uh, in, in these kinds of times. Anyway, uh, let, let's see if I can level up a couple more people here. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Let's recruit some more freebooters, more bushwhackers. Nice. All right. So let's go into the smithy, shall we? Let's go into the smithy because we haven't really done much of this in uh, in a while. So let's just see if I've picked up anything new. As you can see, we got a throwing axe head, which is pretty nice. Ooh, we also got a throwing axe handle too and a thick saber blade. Ooh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? That does sound quite nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the two-handed swords here. Did I unlock anything new? No, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, I think this is somewhat new, but I don't really want to use uh, fine steel if I can help it. So generally what I like to do is use this blade. Increase the size of it. And then we'll, we'll get a different hilt. Oh, look at that. We've got a whole bunch of different ones that we can choose from. Wow. Wow. I, I literally, I could just choose whatever I want at this point, and I could r dramatically reduce the amount of resources that I end up using. So let me actually just take a look. What about this one? Yeah, this seems pretty good to me. If I increase the size, it doesn't really do anything. All right, we'll make it slightly smaller than than average, and then we'll have a look and see what else we can do here. That looks pretty nice. The difficulty has gone up once again. All right, let's forge it and see what happens. Maybe we'll get some stat bonuses. No, no stat bonus. Okay, well, guarded sphere of joy. There we go. Ooh, we, we, we got a iron reinforced one-handed? Uh, okay, one-handed. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's make another one. Let's call it the uh, kill box. There we go, kill box. Ah, nice. Okay. Ooh, we, we, we're getting some cool stuff, actually, but uh, we're going to need to... Get those stat bonuses going. Jukebox. Because killbox, ju jukebox, you know, that kind of goes. Okay, let's make another one. Ooh, okay. A li <laughs> little bit of swing speed. A little bit of swing speed. Frazzle. Dazzle. There we are. Ah, segmented steel scimitar grip. That sounds really fun, actually. Let's go over to the one-handed swords. It's been a while since we've even taken a look at these. Oh, wow. I don't even have any of the tier 5 stuff, which is pretty bad. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, these are all fine steel, fine steel, fine steel. This is not fine steel. Maybe we want to create something like this. This could be quite fun. Let's see if we can make something cool out of this. What about that? What? This looks weird. Don't you think this looks super weird? This, uh, this guard right here with this blade? It looks like a, a, a complete contradiction of what this whole thing is all about. That's pretty crazy. Okay, well, let's actually have a look and see whether we can make it work. Wow. 
A jeweled, reinforced, one-handed grip. Maybe something like this? Something like this looks... This actually looks pretty cool now, with the exception of the guard. The guard looks a massive contradiction to the, uh, the blade and what it's looking like right now. So I can increase the difficulty even further here. Can I increase it by making the size a little bit bigger? No, no, it doesn't seem to make any difference. All right. Ah, the handling, the handling. Yeah, okay, so let me see if I can do something about that. Let's increase the difficulty of something else. Oh, or shall we say, increase the size of something else that will increase the difficulty just that little bit. And let's craft it and see what happens. Okay, nothing, apparently. Jeweled carving... Store... Store wood. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, nothing? Nothing? Wow. Okay, I'm kind of surprised, actually, that we didn't get uh, any additional pieces from uh, from forging that. But, oh, oh, well, never mind. Okay, so what about... Guarded Beast? Because the guard is so, so crazy good. Okay, well, there you go. I used all my fine steel. Let's have a look and see what kinds of prices we can expect from all of our wonderful efforts. Oh, yes. Okay, Masterful Massacre Mace is doing okay. Nope, nothing is 58k as well. Killbox is 58k. Yeah, all of these are actually 58k, which is really nice. What about um, what about the other one-handeds? Where are the uh, where are the other one-handeds that I created just now? Ah, they're really bad. Yes, they are really really bad. So I can pretty much just sell those. I think actually, you know what? I might be able to smelt those and get some additional parts by doing that. So let's actually do that, shall we? Let's go over to Pelasaur and let's go and smelt some stuff. Do we have any new parts that we can get from these? No, it seems like we can't, as you can see right there. So that is actually a bit of a shame, to be honest. I thought that maybe we might be able to get something cool from it, but uh, well, obviously not. And I need some more charcoal, of course. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so I'm just going to continue running around. I'll continue recruiting some units, and we might get into some additional fights if there is a war that breaks out. All right, so we're doing a bit of a daughter rescuing task right now, mainly because this guy that has given me the task is really uh, pretty powerful, and I would like to be able to increase my relation with him. So I'm going to just go for the critical success. There you go. Critical success with the leadership bonus is giving us a massive, massive chance of being able to do it. And as a result, there you go. Easy, easy victory for us. And we have now increased our relation with him. Whoa, by 21? Wow. That, what? That's actually insane. I had no idea that it was going to increase by such a by such a large margin. And this guy is the second most powerful in the village. So I'm very much hoping that we will be able to recruit a huge amount more people from him. As you can see, this is the guy. And now we can get to the third highest tier, which is pretty good because that means that I'll be able to actually get those highborn youths that are so incredibly desirable for us. Anyway, you can see here that I'm running around with literally 65 Batanian volunteers, which I got to say, not a big fan of that, I got to say. I, I would very much appreciate them leveling up a little bit faster. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to do something to some faction or another to kind of get things rolling a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Hotogia and uh, we're going to see if I can maybe raid the village or something like that because I don't really have any other way of, well, fighting anything. I mean, that's the point. Like, most of the uh, bandits that you're going to see are way too fast for an army of this size and these guys have 50 defenders should be pretty decent should be pretty decent for us right here so let's take a hostile action let's uh, let's raid it we we'll cause a war with the southern empire let's actually just take a quick look southern empire doesn't really have a huge amount i think the batanians could probably deal with them i mean it's probably only going to cause a war with, with us, specifically. Isn't it? I think so. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do it. Why not? All right, we're attacking under the cover of night. It is 50 defender units available for the enemy. 
And uh, we'll see if we can maybe do some damage. Okay, here we go. Let's just charge everyone in because we have the numbers advantage. Don't really mind about if anyone gets killed because, as I've said before, we, uh, we basically just want to get them experience as soon as possible. Okay, apparently I'm useless with uh, my thrown weapons right now for some reason. Get them. Get them. There we go. Nice damage. Nice damage. Yes, more damage. More damage. Yeah, going on the going on the offensive, Diggory. Look at that. That was nice. That was a nice little killing spree right there for him. And I believe that is indeed it. Yeah, those guys are going to be running away, which is absolutely fine. 15 renown, 10 influence. Not bad. Not bad for such a small, uh, small victory right there. Not going to be taking any prisoners because I would like to be able to run away relatively quickly if I need to. We've lost honor and we've lost mercy unfortunately which is to be expected of course so let's now see what happens my criminal rating has increased and we have someone from the southern empire coming in here do you think we could fight them maybe but we have to be careful oh hello there hello there joron's army okay but here's the thing now the batanians are at war against the southern empire because of our actions and I'm very much hoping... Can I can I fight this guy before the army gets into range? No, he's, he's running away. He's running away from us. That is to be expected. But well, look at this. We have all of these guys that have leveled up into the next tier of unit, which is really great. And we can now start leveling these guys at a much faster pace, which I very much want. So let's see if we can continue that. And we are moving around relatively slowly at the moment. So let's see if I can maybe get into a battle with these guys. No. I just want to be careful of that massive army. That's literally all I need to do. Just be careful of that army. And then we should be fine. Okay. Do you think I can catch up to this guy? It's highly unlikely. He's, he's got 35. And he more than likely has a massive amount of cavalry and things. So it's pretty much impossible, I would say. Three, and Actually, he's only moving 0.2 faster than me. Hilariously enough. So I might even be able to catch up to him at this point. Oh, he's he's cornering himself. He's cornering himself. Okay, wait a minute. Let's play this a little bit a little bit smartly. Gotta corner him very, very slowly right here because otherwise he's going to be able to escape very easily indeed. And there you go. Nice victory for us right here. And uh, actually, is he the leader of his of his clan? No, he is not the leader of his clan. Well, I was going to attempt to potentially persuade him to join the Batanians. That would be pretty cool. And we're going to we're going to just auto resolve this. As I say before, I just literally want to get as much uh, as much experience as I can possibly get. And I don't mind whether that results in a couple of uh, a couple of people being killed. More than likely, it will result in low tier units being killed. So it won't really make too much of a difference to our overall combat strength and as you can see look at how look at how much experience we're getting here just so many units leveling up there we are nice okay so let's continue onward and see what we can do aha hello there Ooh. okay okay hello hello this might be good or it might be really bad i don't know let's see okay oh oh dear okay oh dear hello this is this is maybe bad. They're all they're all wanting to attack me, and they will probably win this. If they can catch up to me right now, they'll probably win. Oh, they they might not win now. Let's actually have a look. I think I could probably win this. Get him. Get him before the 65 guy comes over here. Ah, uh, no. I think they all got in. Yes, they did. But we have ooh. Our power levels are basically equal. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see. She is not the leader of her clan. No, this is Rajaya's clan. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. We are outnumbered, but I very much hope that we will achieve victory. If we have superior tactics, we might very well be able to do it. But you know me, I don't really have superior tactics any day of the week. Maybe Sundays? Maybe Mondays. Well, I kind of hate Mondays. Well, doesn't everyone? Doesn't everyone hate Mondays? I don't know. Maybe. It really depends. It really depends. Anyway, so let's uh, let's get a, let's get our people into a decent position here. I'm kind of a bit worried about this. Not entirely sure how it's going to go. 
Um, this uh, particular environment is not very conducive to anything, really. So I guess I'm just going to put my people into a shield wall formation, put our archers into a loose formation, get our three cavalry. Really? We only have three cavalry? That's kind of useless, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'm going to go for a two-handed stance here. And uh, these guys are going to be very, very painful for us. Unless our archers can deal with them. Which it seems like they are at the moment. Slash him. Yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go. You're dead. You're dead. Get him. Nice, nice. Okay, that's what we like to see. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. Good work. Good work, archers. Good work. That is what we wanted to see right there. Okay, so let's get our uh, cavalry to now retreat. Let's get our infantry to move forward. And uh, we'll also get our archers to move forward a little bit as well. We need to make sure that they are supporting us. Because, let's face it, in Batania, archers are probably going to be your strongest unit class. Nice kill. Nice kill. Okay, let's move my forces just that little bit closer. I'm going to use my uh, shield wall as kind of an actual wall and a shield of uh, people to kind of prevent me from potentially dying very, very quickly. Let's tell our cavalry to charge in. Let's tell our, uh, let's tell our guys to charge. Why not? Let's tell our guys to charge in and see what happens. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see. Who, uh, oh, dear. Well, this is bad. This is bad news. Well, so far, I'm not entirely sure what is happening right now. I'm just basically trying to concentrate on not dying. Uh, we, I think we're going to win. I think we are going to win, but this is going to be a very costly battle for us. We maybe shouldn't have charged in, but I kind of had to break the stalemate somehow, I think. And, well, this is as good a time as any to do that. Okay, yeah, my archers are probably going to achieve victory against the enemy's archers. I don't think the enemy's archers are that good. I mean, their palatine guards are pretty good, and their crossbowmen are decent as well. Get him! Get him! I've got I've got throwing weapons. I'm not afraid to use them. Oh, never mind. He's dead. And I believe that is indeed a victory. Yes. Look at that. Whew. Okay, that was uh, that was much more costly than anticipated. We did only lose 70, and most of the uh, most of the casualties, as you can see, were uh, volunteers and clan warriors. They are tier one and tier two units, respectively. So that's pretty good. That is not too bad. Let's tell our people to charge in now, so that they can potentially get into effective range of any remaining enemies. It seems as though every one of them is running away. There's still 24. Really? Still 24 attackers on the battlefield? I'm very surprised at that. I don't see any using alt. So this is a bit strange. I don't really know what's going on with that. Uh, but they, they must be running away, surely. Ah, there's someone in the water. Oh, he's just dancing, as you can see. He's literally just dancing. He's kind of stuck. That's kind of hilarious. Okay. Not entirely sure what was going on with him it seems like there's a bunch of that kind of thing happening at the moment but i am very pleased that we were able to achieve a victory here very significant one in fact as well i think in general if any kind of situation like this happens i feel like the game should basically just be like oh okay yeah it's more than likely that you're going to achieve a victory here so we're just gonna make the rest of the units leave instantly so you don't have to waste a huge amount of time running after them but there you go, 114 renown and 54 influence as well as a little bit of morale as well. Wow, that was very, very cool. And I can take them prisoner if I want to, but I'm going to continue trying to get as much charm skill as I possibly can. Because charm skill is very much, very much important. And we're going to be letting most of these guys go as well. All right, so... I will be able to recruit these guys, but I'm not really wanting to do that. I think I might take the hired blades just purely for the fact that they are mercenary units rather than any other. And we'll take those. Uh, we'll actually take the mercenary guards as well, just to fill out our army a little bit, because you never know if you're going to be attacked. 
uh, relatively badly in the near future. So I'm just going to take those just for the fact that we might need their contributions to combat strength. I won't be taking any Imperials or anything like that. Where, where do the Watchmen go? Uh, the Watchmen actually do level up into, into Mercenaries as well, so I'll take some of those, but I won't take anything that is a part of another faction. That's the main thing here. All right, so we were victorious against a pretty overwhelming enemy. I would have been able to achieve victory very easily against just two of them, but unfortunately, that was not the case this time around. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.